Hi all! Terhi Koskinen here again. It's been a while since I last posted a video, but here I am again. I'm making today the most cutest and teeny tiniest <laughs> mini album I've done for at least a year. Um, it's super cute and I hope you like it. It's quite inspiring with bright colors and I will show you exactly how it's done. I wrote the sizes here because I want to make sure you will get those. But first I uh, cut the covers and the paper for the cover and then I'm going to attach the cardstock pieces to the cover page. Um, I'm using double-sided tape as I believe this is strong enough to hold the mini album together but if you are unsure about it make sure you use some strong glue because mini albums are something that we hold on our hands and usually especially when there is someone who is not a crafter uh, and he or she is uh, flipping through the mini book then there might be some accidents so make sure you are using strong glue or strong double-sided tape. I want to fold all the uh, edges and everything really well to make sure the uh, mini book is looking neat and clean and I'm cutting off the uh, corners and then using glue to attach these bars. Um, I'm choosing glue here because there are those um, parts that fold the uh, corner of the uh, front cover and the back cover uh, so the glue works quite well here. I chose to bind the mini book together with uh, double-sided tape and just decorate it with some thread um, so it's actually super easy to do. Uh, I made was it 9 or 10 pages for the mini book? They are all same sized. Um, I wrote the size down just, just a few seconds ago. But anyway, uh, some are cardstock and some are patterned paper. And as you can see, this is the way they are going to be uh, inside the mini book. Again, I'm using double-sided tape, but you can choose glue. And I'm attaching the back side of the pages together, one for another. Uh, when you do the mini album like this, make sure there are enough uh, pages to fill almost completely the mini album um, from the inside, uh, because this will flex a bit like here but not much so I need a couple more pages right here and I will do them just now um, and then when it's attached uh, with double-sided tape to the mini book I'm simply adding some thread it's only for the decoration uh, because I want to add some jewels pearls crystals um, charms um, to decorate the covers and there is simply nothing <laughs> like a uh, technical uh, function for this uh, thread but as you can see it, it brings some soft uh, look for the mini book and with that it also makes easy to add some fun decorations here. I'm also going to add a quite huge bow um, for the back of the mini book because I think it will be like a cherry on top of the page uh, to decorate the covers. 
because I don't want to add any um, embellishments, other embellishments to the covers because it's so tiny, the whole mini book is so tiny that I don't want to fill it too much. Not from the inside, but also not from the outside. Um, obviously, the mini book wouldn't be a mini book um, without any photos, so I um, I used a couple of super small uh, photos. They are just over inch by inch, um, and all the pattern papers and all these. Uh, fussy cut embellishments and this paper and <laughs> everything is from Paper Nova Design Vitamina Collection which has been re relieved just about a month ago and I simply adore all the colors and uh, elements uh, in this collection. It's fresh and looks like summer which is just the theme for the mini book. Um, Anyway, I hope you are inspired and if you have any questions um, about the technique or about the collection or just, you know, about everything, just ask and I'm happy to answer if I can. Uh, anyway, have a happy summer or winter for New Zealand and Australia um, and we will see you again soon. Bye!